There is nothing worse than wearing exclusive Louboutin heels in the wrong size. In this Louboutin sizing guide, I am going to cover every aspect to help you choose the perfect size in red soles. Hi, this is Anja Lisa. Over the past 20 years, I bought hundreds of Louboutin heels as part of my high heel collection. I have over 40 pairs of Louboutin socade alone and have experience across all other styles from sandals to booties. After such long time, I am 100% sure I am a 37 and a half EU in Christian Louboutin. Let me guide you step by step to find out your perfect Louboutin size. Today we're gonna cover the following questions regarding to size. Should I size up or down for Louboutins? There is always a first time and uh, trust me with Christian Louboutin heels is a very special one. This should only be the first of many successful purchases of iconic heels. Take time to get it right. First, you must shop or at least try the shoes in store first. At least for your first purchase, don't go blind. Trying in store not only allows you to try different sizes of the same model, but also try other models. I totally recommend trying different models before you commit to one. Take your time in store, you are the customer. I totally understand you might be excited to visit a luxury boutique for the first time and also a bit nervous, but remember, you need to carefully try heels, make sure your feet are not too tired and you can walk in them for a while. The store assistant will advise, yet the choice is yours and you need to give yourself time to feel how they fit. Try different models, make sure you fit all models in that size or different materials. Ideally get to the point where you are sure about your one and only size of Louboutin shoes. Aim at finding the perfect fit in bare feet without socks, nylon or any sort of inserts to make them more comfortable. These types of fixes are sometimes necessary but should only be a backup choice, not the starting point. Relaxed, dry and bare feet is the best fit. Christian Louboutin heels are usually in Italian or EU sizing which is the half size smaller than French shoe size. If you never bought designer heels or not wear heels at all, start from comparing to your sneaker size. It's really hard to get a reference here, but to give you an idea, I am between 38 and 39 EU in Nike sneakers, but 37 and a half EU in designer heels. For me, it's a half size down, yet it's very specific to me. If you compare it with sneakers, you will be looking one or one and a half size down. If you can't try them first in store or buy them as a present to your partner, check the size of other designer heels who are true to size. But be careful, as not all brands are true to size. Just remember to buy at least two or three sizes to avoid ruining, especially present with the wrong fitting shoes. Do Louboutins run true to size? If you already have a pair of a red sole, you are definitely in a better position in making the right choice with regards to size. Louboutin heels in my experience are true to size across all models, from pumps to sandals to higher platform heels. While you might still want to choose a different size depending on the model, I can reassure you that I only buy 37 and a half EU. I've been doing this for many years and I never had a single pair not fitting. I would say 9 times out of 10, if you already own a pair of Louboutin heels that fit well, go for the same size and you will be safe. True to size heels also allow you to pick the right size comparing to other brands who are true to size. I will cover this in separate guides, but other brands like Casaday, Lesilla and YSL who are true to size are also a great starting point to help you identify the right size of Louboutins. Shop online safe with an outstanding service, knowing your size upfront allows you to grab limited edition heels that tend to be sold out very quickly. Forget about finding your size at the end of the season. Here are some factors to consider when choosing size of Louboutin heels. Regardless of specific tips for particular models, there are some extra considerations to keep in mind when it comes to sizing. The heel height and shape of the foot is by far the main contributor to comfort. If you are concerned about comfort in relation to height, definitely don't start from a 120 mm pump like this Louboutin Socade, which is notoriously the least comfortable heels from Louboutin. 
Start from heels below 100 mm and build your collection over time, adding higher heels. Personally, I tend to stay above 100 mm as I prefer the look of higher heels, yet it really depends on the occasion you buy them for. Platform helps. Whether it's pumps or sandals, having a platform can only help in improving the comfort. You will notice that platform heels, despite being higher than other models, are easier to walk in than pumps. Closed or open toe. Depending on the shape of your feet, you have to be careful with open toe shoes as opposed to closed toe bobs. Harder to fit depending on the style and more likely to cause pain if fingers are not fitting well. Different materials have different comfort. The material of the shoes can make a bit different when it comes fit. The most classic patent leather, which is very durable and makes heels look very hot, is harder to stretch around your foot. Natural leather is easier to mold over time the more you wear it. Keep that in mind if you buy pre-owned Louboutin from reseller marketplaces like Vinted. Either way, if you feel you fit well, but just tight, you can try taking them to a cobbler to stretch. Special event or day-to-day -day use. Especially if your first Louboutin, this will be a shoe that you will wear for a lifetime. They are extremely durable and always trendy when it comes to iconic models. Do not buy them if they are not fitting perfectly, thinking it will just be one off. It's an important purchase you can wear over the years. Shall I use inserts to increase comfort? Personally, I tend to wear heels without any inserts like insoles, pads, etc. Yet, it's a very personal choice, as our feet are not all the same. In case you are sure you want to wear inserts to make your heels comfortable, definitely size up half size and try the shoes already with inserts if you can. Don't try to fix retroactively and since Louboutin does half size, don't go for your true size and neither one or two sizes up. If you need to buy more than half size to fit well, means it's not the right heel for you. Sometimes we have to give up, no matter how amazing some shoes look. What size of Louboutin, so Kate, Hot Chic, Irisa is right for you? Pumps are the ultimate size test. If you get right your so Kate sizes, you are good to buy most models. Same applies to Hot Chic and Irisa as well as other pumps. Here, obviously, you must consider the heel height. 120 to 130 mm are the least comfortable and most likely to give you a bad experience in terms of fit. Lower pumps are significantly easier in terms of choice and you could even get away by missing the true size by half size. Booties are definitely the most comfortable choice and easier to pick. Both high boots and ankle boots allow you to go for a slightly bigger size and can easily hide not being the right size differently from sandals. Especially in winter, when you can wear socks to keep your feet warm, but also help with the comfort. I still buy booties my true size, and I managed to grab these amazing booties from the light collection, knowing my size, as they were available exclusively online. That said, I totally support buying one size up in boots to wear socks in winter. With the sandals and sling bags, forget about hiding the wrong size in strappy sandals or sling bag pumps. You can't hide inserts and the open toe feature will look terrible if the fit is off. If you are not sure about size, I definitely recommend you start from other models, especially if you are not so used to wearing high heels. When it comes to sandals, check carefully the fit of the front strap and back strap for sling bags to avoid being loose and giving a cheap effect of a low quality shoe. New very privé and platforms. Platforms are a good starting point in my opinion, as comfort is generally good despite being high. Same as sandals, be careful about sling bags and in case they are open toe, how your fingers fit on the front. Especially since block heels are very trendy these days, you will find easily the right fit. I hope you found this guide useful let me know if you have any questions by connecting with me on social media. I will be publishing more guides on my blog as well as my YouTube channel. Whether you are about to buy your first pair or just dreaming about it, you can do your homeworks and prepare by trying on heels in store so you can be ready when a special pair of Christian Louboutin you love will go on sale. Remember, the most exclusive models sell out fast you have to be sure about your size.